pardon me, but I am going through an enigmatic feeling. My heart is pounding glisteringly fast. It feels like it's weeping, but I don't know why. Every muscle in my body seems to be suspended. Every nerve in my body seems to be stiffened, but I don't know why. It feels like an insurmountable fear has taken refuge in my heart. The blood is trickling in my veins and tingling in the extremities of my limbs. And again, I don't know why. But there is one thing that I do know. That this fear, this anxiety, this nerve-wracking sensation feels quite familiar. It is as if we had already bumped into each other, as if we had grappled with each other, as if this unsettling fear has something to do with the very little time I have left here. Pardon me again for being so emotional and frustratingly expressive as to the point of describing my innermost biology. But it so happens that now that I think of it, this is actually the very fear and anxiety I experienced not more than five months ago when I was leaving my natural family. The family I had spent 16 long years of my life with to come live with my host family. The family I had spent absolutely no time with. This is the very sensation I felt when my Parents who I still remember seeing standing out there at the airport shouting out their goodbyes to me. A feeling only I or any other exchange student, a small demographic would understand. The fear of leaving loved ones, my parents, my siblings, my friends. But now guess what? This is happening again as the time for my departure approaches. It feels funny seeing it from the other side now. I should be enraptured now. I should be having incessant fits of excitement. But no, nothing like that. Nothing at all. Well, this narrows it all down to my point, ladies and gentlemen that this is one unimaginable bond of love between two surprisingly different cultures, two remarkably different countries that without even us realizing, placed itself between me and my host family and my new community in just a couple of months. We now care for each other so much that the very thought of my departure makes me feel sad and empty, but closer and more appreciative of our two cultures. The truth now is that my host parents are not anymore just my host parents, but like my real parents. My host brother is now not just my host brother, but like my real brother. My American friends and all those beautiful Americans who taught me so much, who helped me so much without any doubt, will stay in my heart forever. They all have left a mark which is going to live in my very soul for eternity. A mark of love, compassion, and humanity. And this all came to my attention when I discovered that I had been chosen for this TEDx talk Quite an exhilarating feeling, this one. I felt as if all the blessings of heaven were bestowed down upon me. I felt as if I were wandering in some fairy meadows and pleasant vales with nothing but happiness and success and just everything nice. I felt that feeling. You might feel if you have accomplished something you've always desired. Your deepest, most dynamic desire ever came true. Which brings me to my topic that is incredibly close and unique to me. Why host an exchange student? You see, we have 
divorced ourselves from each other. We have time and again shrugged off opportunities to understand each other. We have caused ourselves to be antagonistic toward each other. We have housed xenophobic kinds of resentment long enough. And even if not, we happen to be betrayed. We happen to be deceived. We happen to be brainwashed against each other. Miles, language and culture make us feel worlds apart. I know, it's, it's perfectly normal. But more than this, people who unfortunately have gone down the wrong road have terrified us to the unbelievable extent of hating and being scared of each other without truly knowing each other at all. We are going to be honest here, ladies and gentlemen, and not just to each other, but to ourselves too. And as a speaker, I myself have to be nothing but honest. I have to talk about nothing but the truth. And that is certainly what I'm going to try to do here. I come from a country in the southern part of Asia, surrounded by China, Afghanistan, Iran, and India. A country that happens to be roughly 8,000 miles away from here. We call it Pakistan and we call ourselves Pakistani. And we are very proud of our culture and diversity. But most of all, our food. Now, does the name ring a bell to you? Do you happen to recognize the name Pakistan and the stereotypes that accompany it? Well, I hope so. I myself am no stranger to them. My ears, which I believe work decently, occasionally have heard people associate words with Pakistan like, like radicalization, war, terrorism, violence, hostility, sectarianism, all those words which to me are unimaginably scary. My bespectacled eyes work well enough to have seen fear looming in some faces upon hearing the name Pakistan. Well, actually, um, I still remember that day in my high school, in my American high school, I was giving a presentation to one of the classes. And uh, when I gave my introduction, told them who I am and where I'm from, I suddenly clapped eyes on this girl in the room who seemed quite horrified upon discovering that I'm from this part of the world. Well, of course, no doubt, she once had processed a horrible scrap of intelligence about that region through some news medium or from her community and let it judge the entire population from that region on that basis. People seem to me to be laboring under this sad delusion that my country is hostile. They are under this impression because most have never actually known Pakistanis for who they truly are. They choose to judge them by some unfortunate stereotypes associated with Pakistan. And it is, I believe, fair to say that the unconscionable actions of a few are used to judge the integrity and hearts of millions. Unless, ladies and gentlemen, we endeavor to dispel these clouds of skepticism and welcome the warmth of friendship by understanding them. And how better could we develop an understanding than by hosting an exchange student? A vast majority of them are remarkably well-established, well-considered, and well-analyzed youth from nations that are dynamic and devoted to bringing a positive, everlasting change to the world. Their credentials reflect that they know their countries well enough to be a proper representative. There are students who work their way from their host families out to their host schools and up to the entire community, outreaching thousands of people, always volunteering to wipe away any doubts and misunderstandings they come across about their countries. Year in and year out, more than 500 of us take this massive leap to experience a new culture, new family, a new school, and new people. On behalf of all those exchange students out there, I say it takes great courage to venture into unknown territories, and the impact it makes is immeasurable. 
the courage to make an exchange comes from our inmost being. So for an international exchange student to overcome that fear of discomfort, that fear of embarrassment from being in a foreign environment proves that their desire to experience and explore outside of their comfort zone must be huge. Their willingness to be vulnerable is definitely an indication of an inner strength and desire to connect with an expanded sense of humanity. I feel exquisite pleasure in knowing that my efforts and my host family's efforts have not been vain. I'm glad that there are people out there who now don't think the same way they used to think about Pakistan. I now know that they know it's a country of remarkable people, just like here. No doubt they are different. No doubt they have different cultural traditions. No doubt they time and again go through different challenges. But in the long run, they're as peace-loving and admirable as Americans. You see, coming to this understanding, that is the highest priority of an exchange student. And it is this accomplishment that for them lies above all. Trust me. Hosting an exchange student is one of the most fascinating adventures you can embark upon. You will bring the world to your family and community and experience all the excitement that comes along with it. You'll try new foods, learn new words, see new places, and create lifelong relationships with people you might never have crossed paths with. When you choose to become a host family, and host an exchange student, you will realize that everyday occurrences that you may take for granted suddenly take on a new life. Restaurants, movie nights, shopping, sports, hobbies, Christmas Eve, Thanksgiving dinner, even housework will be perceived differently as you see it experienced through the fresh eyes of your exchange student. I love the Big Bang Theory. Of course, I'm definitely talking about the American TV show, not the scientific theory. I used to watch it all the time when I was back home, and uh, it's quite engrossing, quite hysterical. When I came here, I found out that my host mom also is quite a huge fan of it. She has been watching it just like me, but on the other side of the planet. Now we watch it together. And believe me, it's 100 times more engrossing and more hysterical than it used to be. I know it's, it's just a show, but for us, all those hours spent in the living room watching the same TV show we both love feels greater than just watching a TV show. We laugh together, and all that laughter will always be a special memory for both of us. There's no better way to learn a language than to practice it with a native speaker. But communication goes far deeper than that. When you host an exchange student, you will learn to build relationships with those who are different from you by learning to relate to those who may have had an upbringing that varies greatly from your own. Your ability to connect, communicate, and collaborate with others is greatly enhanced. You become less insular and more open to the way the world can be interpreted. I would say that I'm sort of a gourmand, so I definitely can't resist mentioning one of the tiny things that made my exchange year different, which are these uh, squeaky, cheesy, springy, savory snacks um, with a kind of a rubbery texture that I'm quite addicted to here in Wisconsin, which I believe are a very important part of your culture and one of the countless things I admire a lot, your cheese curds. I have now lived my exchange experience for five months now, and I truly can feel a change in my personality. I truly can feel the amount of knowledge people now have about my country, the correct one now. I truly know how I'm going to tackle the American stereotypes that my countrymen have. It's been a privilege, and it always will be, being an exchange student and being hosted by an American family. Thank you.